Hey, how's it going? Welcome back to another episode of the Duo Group Iron Man. Last video we did Monkey Madness 2, and we did a bunch of Slayer trying to get a Black Demon's task so we can finally go for a Zenite from Demonics, but unfortunately we did not end up getting one. The task, that is, which also means we didn't get a Zenite either, of course. So the goal for this video is to just keep on doing Slayer, going for Demonics tasks, and hope to get a Zenite. As you can see, we just finished this Gargi Boys task right here, so it is time to get a new one. First task of the video, and I feel like whatever we end up getting here is just really going to set the mood for the whole video. Okay, that's all right. It's the first Blue Dragons task since getting 70 agility, which means I can now use this shortcut over here. Um, we could also use this shortcut now too, which is also level 70 to the adult Blue Dragons, but this place is so far out of the way from a bank that I feel like it's not worth killing adult blue dragons at this point to get the dragon bones because we're not really in desperate need for prayer XP. I'd rather wait until we have the myth skill unlocked because that makes it a lot faster to get to blue dragons and bank the bones. Or even better, by then we'll have Vorkath unlocked. And I just realized I forgot the bone crusher. One more hit and we have got level 93 hit points. And we're still here to get a magic level 91 magic and that is 1750 total level. We can now use the 17 worlds. And speaking of 1750 total, here's a word from today's sponsor. Today's video is sponsored by the Ridge Wallet, which is a smaller, lighter, and thinner version of traditional wallets. Even though the Ridge Wallet is so small, it can hold up to 12 cards and it also comes with a strap or a clip, whatever you want for your cash. And the money is very secure in here. I've never been worried or had any issues losing money. If you ever wondered how you get your cards out of the Ridge Wallet, well, all you have to do is push into the Ridge. The Ridge team is so confident with their product that they offer a 45 day money back guarantee and it comes with free shipping and free returns and every wallet comes with a lifetime warranty. So if you buy a Ridge wallet, it is the only wallet you will ever have to buy for the rest of your life. So check them out at ridge.com slash mudkip to take a look at their wallets and they have a wide variety of materials and designs and I'm sure there's something for everyone. On top of wallets, Ridge also has a variety of other daily gear like hats, cables, power banks, backpacks, etc. So again, and make sure to check them out at ridge.com slash mudkip and use code mudkip at checkout for 10% off. And thank you so much to Ridge for sponsoring this video. I figured out that the rate of getting a Black Demon's task from Duradel was about 4.2%. Whereas with Neve, it would be 5.2%. So instead, we're gonna be grabbing our tasks from Neve over here. 77 defense. Every once in a while, someone just logs in and then just stands there. And I don't know why I find it so funny. It's like someone just standing there ominously looming in the distance, just watching. In reality, he probably just hopped the worlds and went AFK immediately, but it, it's fun to make up stories sometimes. He's just standing there menacingly. Anyways, I haven't been skipping every task to get uh, demonics as soon as possible, but I am skipping more than usual. Um, but there are certain tasks, of course, like these burst tasks. I just can't skip them. It's such good XP. But what I want to point out is this is my first time doing a Dust Devils task since getting the Bone Crusher. And I just want to show that for this whole entire task, I only had to use one prayer pot. And in fact, if you were to one tick flick your prayer here, you wouldn't even need prayer pot. You would profit prayer points. Yeah, yeah, profit. That's a good word for it. So I just made some expeditious bracelets. It's actually my first time ever making or using these, uh, but they're pretty much just the opposite of slaughter bracelets. Instead of having a 25% chance of a slayer kill not counting towards your task, it has a 25% chance to make it count as two kills for your task, not giving you extra slayer XP just to get the task done faster, which is very beneficial for me right now, seeing as I'm trying to get these tasks done as fast as possible while also not wasting too many slayer points. Wait, frick, I just got a, a Neve task. Definitely Neve task. Uh, I was supposed to get a Conor task because it's number 300. It's definitely still better to skip that though. I'll still get more points overall. There's level 78 attack. That is task number 300 and we get 450 slayer your points from that please i beg yes oh my gosh i've skipped so many tasks oh i'm so glad we finally got black demons 237 first thing we have to do is make the arc light which is made out of dark light that we get from shadow of the storm and ancient shards which we have a lot of and then to initially make this into the arc light i think first we have to just use it on here Okay, and then for every three shards that you add, it gets 1,000 charges, and it can hold up to 10,000 at once. So we just add three at a time until it's full, and then once it is, we'll get a message saying it's at maximum charge. And what the arc light does is it gives you 70% increase in accuracy and damage 
um, to your total equipment stats like when you're fighting demonic creatures, which is why it's really good for demonic gorillas. And each hit just uses up one charge. I seriously can't believe how long it took to get this task though. I swear the game just knows when you want to get a task. I think I probably gained like maybe like 400k Slayer XP trying to get a Black Demon's task. Okay, so I'll show you here. Uh, just ignore the, the part about Neve and Gravestone and all that. It's... It's completely irrelevant. She's living on the farm now. But you can see we've killed zero demonics, so we're starting with a fresh slate. Although I definitely don't expect to get a Zenite on the first task, um, especially because I think I've wasted all my RNG at Barrows and Kraken and a bunch of other various places. You don't need to be on task to kill demonics, by the way, but I figure we may as well, so that way we get the boost from the Slayer Helm, and also because we get Slayer XP that way, and we need to get Slayer up eventually anyway, so may as well do these at the same time. But as I mentioned last video, I do like fighting demonics. I mean, it's easy to say now because I haven't killed any yet on this account, but um, from the last time I was killing them, I wasn't bored of them, so I'm looking forward to this. Wait, right as I was about to head in, Spook told me that she just made range potions, because I just asked her like next time she banks if she can uh, make them, and she just banked right now, so uh, she said she put a bunch of range pots in here, so let's see. Oh nice, okay, so I'll grab those out. And also I was looking at the demonics drop table and realized they drop ashes, so I'm gonna grab the ash sanctifier and leave that in the inventory. First, ranging pots on the account. The demonics drop the malicious ashes, which give 65 prayer XP or half of that, so like 32.5 XP with uh, her dire done with the ash sanctifier. So that's why I brought that. And then here's my very janky setup <laughs> with my truly insane two-way switch. And then for those of you that don't know, the Zenite is one out of 300 and that's the drop that we're going for. Let's do it. What's that? Hitting them where it hurts. I'll check that later. Remind me. Man, I have never missed the SGS so much. <laughs> that was a five kill trip. I missed doing my like 30, 40 kill trips. I guess that's what happens when you do it on a lower level account with mediocre gear and not too many switches. I could probably get rid of the nature runes because I don't need to alk these as I go. Ooh, maybe I should pre-pot as well, like at the bank right before I go to demonics. I'll just take a sip of each of these so that way I can save three inventory spots and have more food. I guess at this rate I don't need the ash sink to fire on me either. Hitting them where it hurts. Finish a demonic gorilla with a demon bane weapon. Nice, this trip was a little bit better I guess because they had more inventory space. Uh, that was nine kills. As I'm killing demonics I'm realizing prayer pots are going to be a bit of an issue because uh, we don't really have the best source of ranners right Right now. I guess Master Farmers are like the only way, but Spook has a pretty low thieving level and I'd rather like kill Demonics than do the skilling. So uh, I should probably stay on top of the farming contracts. I don't even know if we get a lot of Ranners from them, but either way we get a lot of seeds so I probably should like make sure I'm doing the contracts. I just wanted to show something that wasn't a thing last time I did Demonics. Uh, when there's one that's been attacked already, you know, of course an Iron Man can't get the drop, but I believe this one was attacked already. So if I try to attack it, you'll see that little red thing. So on one hand, it is really annoying that a lot of these are already attacked, but on the other hand, it's nice they have that warning now so I don't waste like three minutes killing a demonic just to not get the loot. So at least now you can know beforehand. It has come to my attention that we're about out of food. I mean, I do have a few sharks. Well, no, I don't really have much. Well, I have all these raw sharks from Kraken, but neither of us can even cook them yet. So uh, I think it's time to fish some more Karambwans. The reason why I'm fishing them and not Spook, even though she's the skiller, is because she's busy crafting so that when I hopefully get a Zenite, we'll be able to make that into the suffering. I think having her get her crafting up is a little bit more important than having her fish Karambwans. And once I get a full inventory, I'm going to use the Karamja Gloves 3, which gives unlimited teleports to the gem mine, which has a deposit box here. I can just deposit them all and then go back to the fairy ring and go back to the Karambwan fishing spot. GP is still somewhat valuable to me, so I'm not going to be paying the butler to bank the Karambwans. It's not like it takes that much extra time to just deposit them myself. What if, instead of fishing Karambwans, I just go to the Warriors Guild and then hop worlds buying the cheesy potatoes? Although they only heal 16 instead of the 18 that Karambwan seal, and by fishing them here, I do also get the fishing and the cooking XP. I also have a lot to edit right now anyway, so I'll just fish the Karambwans. Level 75 fishing. I think that's enough Karam ones now. Let's take a look at how many we have. It's been like over two hours of fishing. We have over 1400 raw Karam ones. Cooking gauntlets do not work with Karam ones. They just don't affect them at all. So no cooking gauntlets for me, but I will be trying to one tick these just because I want to get done as fast as possible. Oh, just got uh, 71 cooking. There's 72 cooking. Oh, just missed uh, 73 there. And that is all the Karam ones cooked. Or, well, not all of them are cooked. Some of them are burnt, but uh, we averaged over 480k cooking. XP per hour. It took like about half an hour it looks like. And then let's see how many we properly cooked. 
Over 1200. Now with all this food, let's get back to Demonics. Hey, there's our first drop from Demonics. It's uh, our first kill back as well. Uh, Ballista Limbs. I love getting supply drops on the first kill of trips. No. <laughs> Uh, I die so many times on this account. Like once I started playing group Iron Man, I literally just stopped caring about dying because it just, it doesn't mean anything if you die. Who's ready for range level 79? Stay on top of your birdhouse runs. Here is 75 Hunter. All from birdhouses, by the way. And that is the end of the task. Okay, one extra kill. If we take a look at a Slayer XP per hour, uh, just over 12k, which means there's about 30 demonic skills per hour is what I was getting, which means that to meet the drop rate of a Zenite, it's uh, 10 hours of demonics. We got up to 238kc. It says 240 because there were the two extras from the quest. But 238kc, no Zenite. It was a pretty boring task. I mean, all we got were the Ballista Limbs. But I mean, if you look at all these rune items, that is so much GP and alkable items. And in a way, I was kind of thinking about this. Is not it sort of like by killing Demonics, I'm converting Prayer Pots into GP? That's kind of what it feels like to me. But yeah, unfortunately, no Zenite for the suffering, so... The hunt for the next demonics task begins once again. Before I forget, let's take a look at the amount of charges we used on the arc light. We started with 10k and after the task we have 7.6k. We actually went through quite a lot of charges. When I did demonics on the UYM, I eventually tried out the whip at demonics and it didn't feel that bad. I mean, I didn't do the DPS calcs, but it felt pretty good. So I mean, it might be a good idea to save charges on the arc light for more important places like for Sire or Zami or something and then maybe I'll end up using the whip at demonics. We'll see. I mean, for now, we do still have quite a few ancient shards left over, sort of. Level 78 defense. Aberrant Spectres just got even easier for me because last time I did Slayer, I didn't have the shortcut unlocked. It's uh, 72 agility, but now I can use this shortcut, which takes me right over here to the Abbey Spectres. I don't have the crafting level to make Slayer rings yet, so the Slayer Tower Spectres are a bit too far out of the way for me. Please. Yes. <laughs> Oh my god. I know like for you guys, it just seems like I just got the tasks practically back to back, kind of, but it's been a, it's been a lot of Slayer in between these two tasks. So this will be the last task that we're going to do this video, and either we're going to finish this task or we're going to get a Zenite, whichever one comes first. Looks like I need to buy some more Broad Bolts. We're almost out. 61 Fletching. I figure we'll probably always need Broad Bolts, so I decided to make 10,000 of them, spent about 600k GP almost, and... Here we are now. Had all the feathers from doing birdhouse runs too. As I said, I would like to save charges on the arc light, so I'm gonna be using the whip at demonics unless it's just like really bad, but it should be decent. Yeah, I've determined that, yeah, the whip really isn't, it doesn't feel different than uh, using the arc light there. The DPS might actually be different, but it really feels the same. I can't believe I wasted all those arc light charges. Dang, I can't believe we're getting another Slayer level and <laughs> 89 Slayer and we got the light frame with it. Thanks, demonics. Thanks, game. Appreciate it. Nice to see a drop though, it's been a while. I have good news that I'm sure you're all very happy about. I am now dry on the Zenite. And there is 79 attack and I got hit by the freaking thing. And that's another light frame. What have I been saying about the drops coming in two on the account? Now, if only we can make the Zenites come in twos. And there's number three. <laughs> hmm, interesting. Oh. <laughs> Oh, there's a heavy frame. Uh, nice. every, all the drops except the drop that we're going for. Level 80 range. Really? Someone just left? No, I forgot. That counts as a kill for the task. Well, huge news. We just got the first ever Redwood Tree Seeds on the account. That's very iconic moment. Oh, Ballista Spring, that's new. I think we're just missing the monkey tail now. Yeah, that's the only thing that we're missing. Well, for the Ballista that is, of course, it'd still be nice to get a bunch of Zenites. That is the end of the task, no Zenite. I'll try a few more kills because we have like a full inventory here. So have one more chance to get lucky for this video. Last demonic for the video, never lucky. Okay, uh, let's take a look at uh, the KC that we got here. If we open up the collection log, 483 demonics and this is what it's looking like you gotta love a happy ending right mudkip not getting lucky somewhere feels good that's okay though i'm enjoying demonics the only thing i'm a bit worried about is the prayer pods i think we have like 50 left or something so that could be an issue in the near future but for now we could probably still do like most of another demonic task whenever we get one and you know sometimes people just get really really desperate if you really no no i wouldn't waste those on demonics and just to show you the loot tracker uh this is everything that we got so far these cerebrews could come in handy for 
for uh, a couple of boss fights, maybe for like Saren or DS2 or something, since neither of us can make bruise yet. As for the uniques that we got, the Ballista Limbs, 1 out of 500, Ballista Spring, 1 out of 500, 3 Light Frames, each 1 out of 750, Heavy Frame, 1 out of 1500, so we're looking pretty good for uh, our first Ballista. And the last thing I wanted to show you was that I was fishing some more Karambwans in my downtime, uh, we have over 1.6k more, so I could just cook those whenever I start running low. We are ending off the day with 1763 total. Here's the time played and everything. And make sure to check out my duo teammate Spook Dogs channel, which you can find a link to in the description below. With that said, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I hope that you have a great day, and I will see you again next time.